Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Hello everyone, I hope that I'm live right now guys. If you guys are able to listen to me properly as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Good evening everyone, good evening, good evening. Hey guys, two. Hey guys, I hope that I'm live right now, guys. If you guys are able to listen to me properly, as well as there's no issues with the audio or the video, please let me know. Great guys. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So how was your day guys? How was your day? Was the day good? Was the day great? So I'm very sorry to tell you guys that, but today I won't be teaching uh, in the class. Today it will be Oscar who will be teaching in the class. So we are having Oscar the educator and uh, we call him Babu Oscar. And he's going to be the one who is going to teach you guys today. So today's, uh, you, if you want to attend today's class, the prerequisite for today's class is you should know how to speak the cat language. Only then you will be able to understand it. Otherwise not. So I'm very sorry guys, but cat language is a very important in the part of today's class, right? Oscar, you will be teaching, right? So everybody has to learn three, four words. First, the meaning of the term CSS in cat language is meow. The meaning of the term HTML in cat language is also meow. So, now it is up to you guys. Those who are interested to study today, they need to understand the cat language itself. Okay, yeah, just making you guys April full. Of course, I will be teaching in today's class. No issues in that. Okay, so Oscar, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi guys. I can speak English as well. I do coding. Put, 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 put. No? Good. Okay guys. So uh, let me know guys. Uh, what have we studied? Just a quick introduction about yesterday's class. Could you guys let me know what have we studied in yesterday's class guys? Please let me know. Could you guys let me know what have we studied in yesterday's class? Just a quick introduction guys. And then we'll start the today's class. Okay. So we studied about transform, GERD. We studied about border radius changing square to a circle. So do not say that. We studied about the border radius itself. Okay. We learned about ease, ease in, ease out, ease in out. Great to remember all the names. Uh, we studied about the yeah animation time function. That is also a good thing to say. Okay. Uh, then we also studied about anything else that we have studied guys. Anything else that we have studied about in today's class. We studied about margin as well. Not very in depth, but yes, we studied about it. So today, uh, see guys, I might be extending the number of days of the bootcamp by one. Will that be fine with you guys? So having a seven days bootcamp, I might be having an eight days bootcamp. Will that be fine with you guys? Please let me know. Will that be fine with you guys? Please let me know guys. Yes, no issues. Because I was able to figure out the project might take up one more day to complete. And uh, so in today's class, we'll try to understand about the project itself. What is the project? What we are going to build? How is it going to look at a rough idea about it? Because even see guys, for me, uh, when I teach a project, I like to take it from the utmost basics. Uh, it's no use of taking up a ready-made project and then teaching you guys a ready-made project itself. You guys won't be able to learn anything in that. So for that, that reason, I will take up a project from scratch. We will think about it, how to go further with it, uh, any new topics that are there. So in today's class, it's just a discussion, guys. Okay, nothing else. Today, we are not going to code anything. Okay, today, we'll keep the class and we'll not code anything, guys, in today's class. We'll try to understand the project what we are going to build, how we are going to build it, 
what will be the animation property of that what css properties will be required so some basic idea i will be giving you guys in today's class about the project and then tomorrow and day after tomorrow we'll be focusing a lot upon the coding aspects of the project itself will that be fine guys please let me know will that be fine guys please let me know guys okay very very less number of yes coming through my way okay and when the project has been completed guys you guys can definitely do the projects yourself add it up to your own uh, resume as well it's a good project to be put up under your uh, resume you can also put it up on your linkedin profile as well most of the students who participate in our boot camps put it up on linkedin oh he's so soft okay you go down so uh you guys can uh, put it up on linkedin you guys can put it up on github uh, i think so it will be a great addition to your current portfolio as well okay showing off your skill set of animation that is my major aim right over here guys okay and for those guys of course the cat is not going to take up your classes i'm going to take up the class okay i just i know i'm very uh, bad at pranks i knew that you guys already knew about it okay so uh, let's get start with today's class right away guys let me uh, open up paint we'll discuss about the project first of all okay let's pop out the chat right over here and let me open up our paint right over here as well up to the left hand side can we put it up on our cv that is what is referred to as resume okay your cv okay yes of course you can put it up that is the aim right that is the reason why we are learning the uh, project okay we are doing the project for just one reason to put it up on our of course for knowledge as well not saying it is not for knowledge but to put it up on our resume to put it up on linkedin to showcase others that uh, this is the project that we have been working upon so let's get started right away guys without wasting any time great amazing guys so first uh, let us uh, so have you guys seen a coffee machine at any particular let me let me show you guys some coffee machines first of all i don't want you guys to go in blindly that okay i don't even know what is a coffee machine and this guys teaching us how to create a animation of a coffee machine at any particular point of time so uh, let us open it up right over here and let me open up a coffee machine so this is how a coffee machine basically looks like it's a 40000 rupees but yeah this is actually what a coffee machine uh, looks like guys okay so we are going to try to recreate a coffee machine to our own website guys and it is going to be very easy the only things that you need to remember is that we our aim is to learn css our aim is to learn animation so we are not going to use any kind of images at any particular point of time think about it like in paint if you go and try to create your own coffee machine okay we are going to go into paint and we are going to create our very own coffee machine guys so uh, and then according to that we are going to convert it into css that is our aim guys okay so convert it into css add the animation uh, to it guys okay that is our aim so please focus upon the class today okay uh, it will be very simple nothing we are not going to do any kind of coding in today's class we are not going to do any kind of coding in today's class guys in the first half i will be helping you guys out uh, with understanding the project in the second half i will be answering some of your questions because i got a lot of messages from students that i am having a lot of questions related to my own careers so i want you guys to answer those questions so i responded back to it that in today's class in the first half we'll understand about the project in the second half we will uh, whatever questions that you guys are having related to your own careers i will try my level best to answer each and every one of those questions so keep your questions in hand with you guys and i will be answering almost every single question that is getting thrown to my hand about your own careers what should you study what should you not study how to get into an internship how to get into a job whatever questions that you guys are having i will be answering to that so do not worry about it guys it will be a very fruitful class today i hope so and uh, let's get started with the class guys let me open up the shidia paint that we have right over here and let us start designing a simple coffee machine guys so first of all we need to have the 
proper bar so let us call it as the coffee machine header okay the upper portion of the coffee machine so the coffee machine can be divided into three separate parts guys if you look at the image right over here it can be divided into three separate parts the one that is on the top let me open this up in a new tab so that we are able to see it very clearly so the first half is the topmost half of the coffee machine guys right it is the topmost half of the coffee machine this black color area of the coffee machine itself let us call it as the header of the coffee machine are you guys able to understand it please let me know let us call it as the header of the coffee machine guys are you guys able to understand why i am calling it as the header of the coffee machine great the second particular part of the coffee machine is this uh, handle that you are able to see right over here okay why are this handle the part of this handle that you are able to see that is from where the coffee gets poured out okay the handle that you are able to see right over there from that like there is a nozzle at the end from that nozzle your coffee pours out of the machine itself we'll call it as the uh, coffee medium this entire area the one down below this entire area in the middle itself we're going to call it as the coffee medium area that is in the middle in the middle itself okay and in that we are going to call the handle as our uh, coffee medium arm okay because it's like an arm itself it's like a handle so we are going to call it as the coffee medium arm everything i'm going to showcase in a image as well how is it going to look at what are the different things called i'm just trying to make you guys understand what is a coffee machine what are the different components about it in the next particular part is the footer of the coffee machine guys this end area okay this is the end plate that you are able to see right over here that is the end of the uh, coffee machine itself okay this is called as the coffee footer okay we'll call this as the coffee footer guys and uh, on top of this footer you place your cup under the nozzle on top of the footer from the nozzle your coffee starts pouring into the cup itself and because the coffee is always hot due to that particular reason smoke starts coming out of your coffee and that is what we are going to create guys okay coffee will pour out of your coffee machine and smoke will come up from your uh, cup itself and all these things all the coffee machine the cup the smoke the coffee itself that is flowing will be creating it using css so let us try to recreate this small ass coffee machine into paint okay not today no programming today we'll just try to understand what we are going to build and just try to label stuff up try to have an uh, uh, imaginative idea itself and proceed from right over there so let us go back let's start creating this coffee machine guys uh where is my small ass paint so this is the paint guys we'll start off with the uh header of our coffee machine guys let us keep this as light gray okay a light gray one uh so this will be the header of our coffee machine guys we'll put the color inside of it okay similar to that then we need to have the uh, medium area of the coffee machine the back portion of the coffee machine itself guys let us take that uh, as a little bit dark gray guys a little bit dark gray not a lot okay we don't want to make it just black a little bit dark gray guys and we'll keep it as a rectangle Let me zoom. Okay, I zoomed in a lot, I guess. Let us start from here. The black plate, I guess, that should be looking good. I guess let out a bit the size. Like increase this way too much. Move it. I think so. This should look okay-ish. Like it, it, it does not look anything spectacular, but I think so. It looks fine right now, right? Uh, see, my guys. Again, I'm not a Picasso. I have. extremely shitty drawing i'm just trying to make sure that you guys are able to understand it that's it okay i hope that you guys will be able to appreciate the amount of efforts that i'm putting into it although it is next to shit but uh, yeah so that would be it guys 
then the next thing that uh, we can do is we need to get some kind of uh, back plate to make sure that the uh, stuff looks okay i guess let us see if we are able to get something else out of it some kind of uh okay. again guys my uh, drawing is not that great guys but i hope you guys are able to understand what i'm trying to draw okay we'll keep it from here guys okay i think so this color won't suit it we need to get a new color guys a little bit more darker gray color let's take it a little bit more darker okay i think so this is a new color that we have created right over here let us take this up to the backdrop and let us pour in that color as well inside just to give it a little bit of hue i guess that will look a bit okayish okay these colors and everything i will try to jot down good amount of colors for you guys right now i'm just playing around with colors just to make sure that everything looks okayish for you guys okay so do not uh, like come back to me saying that sh shit it looks like shit your drawing is shit <laughs> i know that actually <laughs> okay so we'll put up some ventilators on the top guys some ventilation should be necessary for our uh, stuff right some ventilation should be there we'll put up another ventilator right over here We'll put up another ventilator right over here, guys. Okay, that looked shit. I know, guys, it doesn't look very appealing, but that is just a ventilator that I've created. Okay, we'll put some colors inside of it. Okay, so we have created some ventilators on the top right uh, uh, corner as well. We'll create a button guys a button is i think so is a very essential part of any uh, sort of uh, like equipment i guess we'll create a circular button guys a circular button in the middle i think so right over here i don't think so this is the middle as well let us shift try to keep it in a bit of the middle position i think so this should be equivalent to a middle itself and we'll pour in another color just to make it a bit more artistic in nature okay so that it apparently looks like a button at the end right uh, does this look like a button or uh, is this only my imagination that uh, uh, i feel that this looks like a button right it's fine right the button is fine the main button like okay <laughs> again guys sorry for my extremely poor drawing skills but i hope that this is fine with you guys We'll put up two more uh, button switches on the left hand side, guys. I feel that should be the case. Let's put two buttons right over here, guys. One button here. I think so. The light went off from my house, right? Uh. Let's put up two buttons right over here just to make it a bit more artistic. We'll put up two circular dots as well. I think so that will make it a bit more artistic in nature. Put up the Oscar color right over here guys. Uh, a black color. So a circle of black color. I think so that will make it look more like Oscar type of vibe that is there. With the buttons. Two buttons right over here. I think so they came very close with each other. The buttons. No issues. These are the two buttons that I've created. I think so they came very close to each other. I need to shift it a little bit beyond it. Uh, so let us cut one of those and let's try to shift them. Control X, Control B. Let's shift it little bit till here I presume. We'll have to fill up a new color as well because the color has vanished from there. 
Now it looks okayish, right? The parking garage is good. Where is your car? <laughs> yeah, it, I also think so. Uh, it looks like a parking garage itself. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we'll do is we'll uh, create the base itself. We need a base, right? So let's create the base for the base. Let us take up a black color itself. I think so. A black color rectangle should be a good base for us. From here, we'll take up a base. A black colored base should be good enough for us guys. Okay, so we have having a black color base and a plate. Let us put up a blue color plate right over there. A blue colored plate should be a good looking one, I guess. So something like this. Kill it with a awesome color palette. Uh does this look like a coffee machine guys? The handle is missing, right? The handle is missing. Now we need to create the handle as well. Okay, so we'll try to create a handle. Okay, once the handle is there, actually, I, I think so it might start looking like uh, the coffee machine rather than what you guys are saying. <laughs> okay, so let's create a handle right over here, guys. Take up a base palette for the handle. Let us fill it up with a color. And let's make something out right over here. I think so. I will have to hand draw it. So I am not able to see any proper paint. It looks like Kodak Mahindra. <laughs> okay. Uh, right over here. Let's try to create a. Should I take up a marker? I think so. A brush should be more than fine for me. Okay. So let's try to create something like this. Something of a nozzle. It just went a lot beyond what I was thinking about. I'll try to draw. See, guys, I'm very sorry, but my drawing is not that great. I hope that you guys are able to see from right over here. And let us speed the nozzle. Okay, yeah, the, the, this definitely doesn't look like anything that I will draw, but it's fine. Let's try to close it off. Paint, I guess. So now it should fill it up. Okay. Now it looks like a nozzle actually. Uh, so I think so it's fine right now. And we'll put up a new color guys. We'll put up a dark gray color for the handle. Gray color and then a black color as well for the actual handle. So I think so now it has started looking like a normal coffee machine, right guys? Now does it look like a coffee machine guys? Please let me know. Does it, is it starting to look like a coffee machine guys? Please let me know. Okay, I think so many of you guys are late and uh, a lot of you guys are asking what are we doing right over here. So let me answer the question for you once again. So basically I am today we are not going to code anything. Okay. I told you guys that I will be extending the number of days of the bootcamp by one day. Okay. Today we are not going to code anything. Today I am showing you guys what we are going to create in CSS. Trying to understand it, trying to label stuff out that okay this is what we are going to create, this is what we are going to do. Trying to understand everything because see, if I just start coding, how are you going to understand it? What I'm doing, what, what I'm planning to create. Think about it. I'm wanting guys to understand that if you have an idea at any particular point of time, that this is what I want to do, how to go from that idea to an actual code itself. Because at the end of the day, what I have seen in most of the students itself is that they don't understand how to, they have an idea, but they don't know how to code. They want to make a project, but they don't know how to end up with a project itself. For that particular reason itself, I am trying to make sure that first we are able to understand the project, what we are going to build, try to label stuff out, continue with our code from tomorrow. So in the first half, I'm just teaching you guys how to like think about it, how to think about the project. 
In the second half, I'm going to organize a career counseling session. Whatever questions that you guys, so many of you guys were messaging me on LinkedIn that you guys want to uh, ask me some questions related to your own careers. Like what to do, what to study, how to study, all these type of questions that were there. So for that particular reason, I will be answering those questions for you. Okay. Okay. The next particular thing is that we need a cup. Of course, we need a cup. So for the cup, let us uh, take up a circle. Uh, can we create a semicircle in some way? I think so. Let, let me think about it. So we'll take up a circle right over here for the cup. We'll place it here. We will make the circle white. We'll fill it up with a white color as well. Then we can take up a rectangle and I think so the same color that we want and we can cut it in half, I guess using this and then fill it up with the other color. In this particular way, we are able to have a semicircle right over here. And then we want to have a particular type of handle for our cup. So I'll just draw it out. So this is our cup guys. And then we want our coffee. Okay. So the coffee that is going to happen is going to happen in such a way that it is, we are, I want to take it up as a strand that is coming up from right over here in a little bit more brownish color, I guess. Let me try to find a brown color then. Want a brown color and we'll fill it up with a brown color as well. And the strand of coffee that is going to go inside of the cup, it will be like continuously pouring. Like it will go down and then again pour down and again pour down and so on and so forth. That is what I want from this guys. Are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know. I want the coffee to pour down from the machine in such a way that we are able, the coffee is able to pour down. Like one, uh, like let's assume that it's a uh, rectangle. The entire rectangle starts at the coffee. Uh, machine go nozzle and then goes inside of the cup itself and then again another strand comes in and goes inside of the cup itself that is what i want to happen guys that's what i want to happen and then uh, some kind of uh, fog as well i want to see uh, getting uplifted from the uh, like from the cup itself because it's a hot coffee so i want some fog that should be coming out of the coffee itself so for that uh, we'll create some kind of like these type of bubbles right over here guys that will raise up from the coffee and just vanish okay and these will fade as well so our aim is not just to create them but also to make it appear as if they are fading from the coffee like it's rising up from the coffee and then fading away fading away guys it shouldn't disappear there's a difference guys are you guys able to understand it the fog shouldn't disappear it should fade away slowly are you guys able to understand this please let me know the fog shouldn't disappear. It should fade away slowly, guys. Are you guys able to understand what I'm speaking? Please let me know, guys. Okay. The first thing that I'm going to name inside. So all these names that I'm going to say right now, guys. All these names we are going to use in our code tomorrow. Okay. So tomorrow I don't want anybody asking me ki I don't know what is a header. I don't know what was the container. I don't know what is the footer. I don't want these type of questions. Whatever names that I'm going to give right now, I want you guys to remember it for tomorrow's class. Okay. So first of all, this entire coffee machine, this entire coffee machine itself, we will call it as the uh, container. Okay, the entire coffee machine will call it as the container guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. The entire coffee machine will call it as the container. Okay, good. Then the header area of this coffee machine, we are going to call it as coffee header. Okay, coffee header guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. We're going to call it as the coffee header guys. We are going to call the, this particular button as button one. Okay. Buttons one. And this we will call it as the buttons two.
वेरी सिंपल नेमिंग आई एम डूइंग ओके सो इट विल बी कॉफी हेडर बटन वन कॉफी हेडर बटन टू एज सिंपल एज दैट वेरी सिंपल नेमिंग कन्वेंशन आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट गाइज नथिंग टू कॉम्प्लीकेटेड नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी वॉन्ट टू सी इज द डिस्प्ले सो दिस इज द डिस्प्ले गाइज so we are going to call it as the coffee header display let's call it as the display itself okay let's call it as the display and these three uh, items that are there guys these three items we are going to call them as the details we need to call this as the details guys call these as the details so it will be coffee header details okay Are guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Great. We'll call this particular area as the coffee medium, guys. Okay, we are going to call this particular area as the coffee medium. Okay, M E D I U M, guys. Are you guys able to understand, guys? Please let me know. Hi, friends. They are not providing any certificates. Spelling of N E A N I. F R N D S certificates after the boot camp. These guys are cheaters. Do not trust him. Thank you. What can I say, guys? Okay. Uh, then the next thing that is going to be there, guys, is our uh, arms. Okay, that is there right over here. We need to create this as well, right? So we'll call this as the uh, okay. so this particular portion this entire portion that is there guys we'll call it as the uh, exit okay we'll call this as the exit guys okay we'll call this as the arm and we'll call this as the liquid because again it is coffee liquid okay Are guys able to understand it please let me know Guys, able to understand it? Please let me know, guys. Yes. Ah, uh, then the next thing is there is the smokes. Okay, we'll try to create four or three smokes depending upon how much time that we get. Okay, so we'll convert this in. We we'll call this as smoke. Okay, let me find, guys. We we'll call it as smoke, and then smoke one, smoke two, smoke three, smoke four. Are guys able to understand it? Please let me know, guys. Let's call it as smokes. Okay, I'm so smarty. I wrote S M O K E smoke guys. Okay. Great. Then the last particular portion is your footer. Ah, uh, we'll call this as the ah uh, coffee footer. That'll be fine. Coffee footer will be fine, guys. Now please do remember this, guys. That inside, let's take up an example of coffee header. Okay, let's take up the example of coffee header, guys. We want our button one, button two, display and details all to be a part under the coffee header, guys. All to be a part under the coffee header. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Okay, so that will all be under the coffee uh, header, guys. Please do remember that. I think so. The charge of my laptop was very low. Luckily, I have saved the day by plugging it into the charge. I saw somebody's uh, comment that the charge is low, so I just saw it and did it once again. Okay, so all the buttons, all the display details will be under the coffee header, guys. Now we have missed one thing that is the cup. So the cup is also a part of the coffee medium itself. So we'll call this as the coffee medium cup. 
ओके विल कॉल दिस एज दी कॉफी मीडियम कप गाइस let me just remove this person if he doesn't want to study let's just remove him right are you guys able to understand that please let me know all these terminologies guys tomorrow we are going to actually all these things that i have written right over here they are going to be the classes of each of these items guys it is going to be the, see there is nothing too difficult like right now we are i'm not even teaching you guys i have not even taught you guys any kind of code just like a standard second child okay a second standard student itself i tried to create a drawing in paint and i named the things that i created right over there <laughs> okay so if you feel that this is difficult i will suggest that do not come into tech right now first go into second standard and learn uh, something else okay uh, so that will be my uh, <laughs> suggestion to you okay good so focus uh, guys it is very simple uh, so all these names that i have written right over here guys these are going to be the class names of each of these items that we are going to create in css tomorrow okay each of these items that we are going to create tomorrow it is going to be the class name guys all these will be the class name are you guys <coughs> i'm so sorry are you guys able to understand that please let me know guys good the next thing that i want you guys to understand is that the uh, there are two animations that are there guys okay our aim is not just to learn the animation but also to learn the css aspect of it advanced css not just the animation itself for that particular reason the animations are just two the liquid pouring in and the smoke coming out these are the two animations that we are going to look at so the smoke coming out we'll just call it as the smoke itself the animation name and the liquid that is pouring down we'll just call it as the liquid as the animation name i think so that is very very simple for you guys right i'm not trying to like convert it into something very tedious for you guys very hard to understand right are you guys able to understand see the first part of every single project is actually this particular step itself that is the reason why i'm teaching you guys this okay why did i did this and that thing i could have directly started like okay this is the div tag this is the container tag this is this and all that but why i'm doing this this is the first step of every single project that you are planning to do first draft a wireframe this is called as wireframing guys this is called as wireframing okay draw it out understand stuff about it what are the different things that you will require about it prototyping will be a very wrong word for it i guess the actual terminology for this is wireframing okay the actual terminology for this is wireframe the technical terminology every single programmer should know what is wireframing and how to do it even we teach it in our training and internship program that is how like if this is a very big thing that many people actually ignore they directly tell you that okay this is the project that we are going to create and then they start coding in that particular case the student doesn't understand that okay if i want to create my own project how will i do that that particular reason itself try to understand this that this is a very important step and this is called as wireframing guys okay are you guys able to understand it please let me know guys are you guys able to understand it please let me know great so i will not i will try not to delete it i will open up another pane for you guys now the second half of the class guys what are the questions and queries that you guys are having right now related to your own careers you can start throwing it at me guys okay what are the questions and queries that you guys are having related to your own careers you can start throwing at me i promise you guys that i will be giving some time upon it as well that is the reason why what are the questions that you are having and throw at me i will try to answer each and every question one by one i will try to answer as many questions as possible guys my aim is to make sure that your questions are also getting answered before doing that please try to understand it guys that maybe you don't have any questions maybe you are having two three questions listen to others question as well as their answers it might solve 99% of your doubt itself okay it will solve 99% of your doubt itself so please listen to other people's questions as well as the answers that i'm giving right over here 
Are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know, guys. Good. So let me start from right over here. Arin Gupta has asked, I am studying Python and DSA. Am I on the right path? See, uh, first of all, guys, a lot of you guys must be having the question that what should I study? Okay. Everybody out here would have one particular question. What should I study? So I'm going to give you guys one generalized answer for everybody right over here. I don't, if you are not, if, right now the answer I'm going to give is going to be the common for every single student. You are from third tier, second tier, first tier, I don't care about it. This answer is going to be for every single student who wants to get a good internship, a good placement. Okay. You cannot get any placement, anything without data structures and algorithms. Data structures and algorithms and competitive programming. If you are not doing this, you are not going to get any placements. I'm very, very, very sorry for you. Data structures and algorithms and competitive programming should be done in either of the two programming languages itself. Either Java or C++. No other programming language. If you think, if you are asking me about my personal preference, it will be C++. That is my personal preference, but between these two languages, anything is fine. First of all, do not do data structures and algorithms and computer programming in the C programming language. I know in many of your colleges, C is the language that is being taught to you guys. Do not do DSA in C. You will not be able to clear any programming round at any particular point of time. It's an obsolete language. Do not do it. Secondly, why I'm suggesting not to do it in Python or JavaScript. The reason for that is very simple. If you are doing it Python or JavaScript, the person who is taking up your interview will be able to ask you such questions that you will never be able to answer. Do not reduce your chance of getting into a company because you were thinking about taking the easier route through Python or JavaScript. Do not do that. Okay. The interview will be very tough for you at that point of time. Choose between C++ and Java. It will be the best for you. Sir, I'm doing web 3.0. Uh, Abdur Rahman. Okay. Many of you guys must be having this particular question as well. Uh, I'm doing web 3.0 and blockchain course. Is it good or not in the future? Abdur Rahman, it is one of the worst decisions that you can take up as a fresher to learn web 3.0. That's the worst decision that you can take up. The reason for that is very simple. Freshers don't get hired at good positions for web 3.0. For web 3.0, you actually need to have experience, not knowledge, experience in web 2.0. Front-end, back-end, DevOps, cloud. If you are having experience in that, then you are studying blockchain, then you will be able to get placed. So it is one of the worst decisions to learn web 3.0 right now as a fresher. Okay. Yes, in Python, a bad option or good option. It's an absolute bad option. A lot of questions got skipped guys. I'm trying my best to answer every single one of those questions guys. Should, uh, how should I start as a fresh programmer, like a roadmap for coder? Uh, Aniket, they learn one of these languages, C++ or Java, start with data structures and algorithms in that particular language, uh, give at least one and a half hours to DSA on a daily basis. Along with that, give one hour to your domain knowledge. For the domain knowledge, you can choose between full stack development, data science or cybersecurity. Uh, if you're doing data science or cybersecurity, choose Python as your programming language for your domain knowledge, as well as uh, for your uh, full stack development, choose JavaScript as your programming language and try to create as many projects as possible, good projects as possible in those uh, fields itself. Okay, a lot of questions are there. Guys, no company is going to give you any kind of placements. Please try to understand it, guys. I'm going to talk about full stack development right now, guys. And then I'm going to talk about data science as well. So if you guys are planning to get into uh, your HTML, if you guys live is gone, stuck for me as well. Let me check. From my end, the live is working absolutely fine, guys. From my end, the live is working absolutely fine, guys. I think so that must be a few seconds of buffering that was there. Okay, from my end, it is working absolutely fine, guys. Okay. So please, guys, listen to this very carefully. Okay. Uh, if you are, first of all, okay, now the topic is how to get a job or an internship in web development. Okay, how to get a job or an internship in web development, guys. First of all, okay, first of all, you need to learn Mernstack, M-E-R-N, Mernstack, guys, nothing else. Mernstack is the one that you need to focus upon. 
वॉट इज मोन स्टार मोंगोडीबी एक्सप्रेस रियाट एंड नोड Okay, these are the tools that you need to be working upon. Just learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript is not going to get you any placements. Just learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript is not going to use any placements itself, guys. Okay. The next particular thing that you need to learn along with that is cloud computing in AWS, guys. Cloud computing in AWS. The third particular thing that you need to learn is DevOps. Okay, you need to focus upon DevOps. In that you need to focus upon Docker, Kubernetes, and uh, your CI/CD. Are you guys able to understand it? These are the things that you need to focus upon, guys. If you want to start freelancing, you want to get into a startup, you want to get into a big MNC like Google, Microsoft, Amazon. These are the stuff that you need to focus upon. Are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know, guys. Are you guys able to understand it? Please let me know. Along with that, if you are plan, if you want to get into Google, Microsoft, Amazon, these are the big ass companies. Then you need to do data structures and algorithms as well. Without that, you are not going to get any job. Okay, are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. The second thing, does CGPA matter? A lot of students are asking. No, CGPA do not matter. Your twelfth standard scores do not matter. I had a CGPA of seven point four. My friend had a CGP of 5.2. He got placed into Goldman Sachs at 38 lakhs per annum. The topper of my college had a CGP of 9.2. He got placed at a package of 6 lakhs per annum. So please try to understand it. If you have the right skills, if you have the right knowledge, if you have the right experience, no company is going to deny you. No company is going to deny you guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know, guys. Good. The next particular thing that is there is all the people who are asking about data science or data analytics. I will just remove it from here. Data analytics. Uh, you are asking about machine learning. Okay, let's not ask about machine learning. Artificial intelligence. You are asking about machine learning. or deep learning if you are thinking of learning about any one of these things you are not going to get a job try to understand it if you are thinking that i will learn artificial intelligence i will learn just machine learning i will just learn a uh, data analyst that is all that i am going to learn you are not going to get your jobs you are not going to get your internships as well i am being very frank about it try to understand it guys a uh, machine learning and deep learning is nothing else but a sub part of artificial intelligence artificial intelligence is a sub part of data analyst so if you want to study data analyst you have to study artificial intelligence if you want to study artificial intelligence you have to study machine learning and deep learning similar to that data science has a uh, data analytics under it one of the topics of data science is data analytics guys If you want to get a internship, you want to get a job, you have to study data science. Along with that, in data science, you have to focus upon Python. You have to focus upon statistics. You have to focus upon your SQL. Okay, all these things you have to focus upon. Along with that, you have to focus upon data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. It is not as if I. Are you guys able to hear me properly right now? Please let me know. Are you guys able to hear me properly right now? Please let me know. Yes, you can hear me. I think so. There were some issues with the internet itself. Okay, everybody is able to hear me right now. I think so. It should not be buffering anymore, guys. uh i think so it was a proper uh, problem of the internet itself i have solved it so i don't think so it should be buffering any more guys okay
Okay, let's do one thing, guys. Uh, if it is buffering again, okay, it's still buffering. Huh? Let me check. From my end, right now, guys, it is uh, absolutely fine. From my end, right now, guys, I think so. It is absolutely fine itself. Let's let's do one thing, guys. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's keep the career counseling session for tomorrow itself. Okay. We'll keep the career counseling session for tomorrow itself because I want to answer every single question that is out there. Okay, we'll keep the career counseling session for tomorrow and we'll continue from right over there because I don't want you guys to suffer due to that. Will that be fine, guys? Please do let me know. Okay, great. Okay, it started buffering again. Okay, no issues. I will I will do it. Okay, do not worry about it. I will provide you with the attendance right now, guys. Give me a second, guys. I'll provide you with the attendance for today. We'll have the career counseling session tomorrow itself. I will extend the number of days of the boot camp by two days. Okay, do not worry about it. Okay. So we'll have the proper career counseling session tomorrow. Whatever questions that you guys are having, keep it in your mind, guys. Note it down somewhere tomorrow when you're coming to the class. Start asking me those questions. I will patiently answer each and every question for you guys. Okay, of course, attendance will be compulsory but it, because it will still be a part of your boot camp itself. So tomorrow, whatever questions that you guys are having, ask me that and I will answer every single question for you. I'm so sorry that the internet wasn't properly available. Uh, in the future, I want to go about MS, uh, which is not available. Uh, what should I choose? Which should I choose? Uh, I want to go abroad, but MS degree is not available. Which should I choose? Do not go abroad. That will be my very first suggestion. Okay, do not go abroad, guys. If you're going abroad, then right now recession is there in not in India, but in abroad is a huge recession going on. Do not go abroad right now. It is for the next at least four years. Do not go at least four years. Yeah, provided you guys with the attendance, guys, please start filling up your attendance. Tomorrow we'll meet up one more time and whatever question that you are having, I will be answering all those questions for you guys tomorrow. Okay, do not worry about it. Thank you so much, guys. I'm so sorry once again that uh, we were not able to organize the class properly due to the buffering. But we'll have the uh, thing taken up properly, guys. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.